Hey folks, what's up? Welcome back to another Paul Masters video. And there, we're gonna check out the last of the um, Paul Masters day grids that we got this month. And it's Wolfric, and um, he's he's terrible. This guy's absolute trash. Um, he might be even after the grid, even after the grid, he still he might be still in contention for one of the worst units in the game, uh, alongside Valerie. Uh, it's like him and Valerie. Honestly, at this point, I feel Norman is just better. I feel Norman Norman, which is terrible by the way. Well, Norman's not good. I think Norman's better than Wolfric. And, um, who's the other one? Valerie. <laughs> I, okay, Valerie is probably worse. Um, but, like, Wolfric is, is definitely still down there. Because nothing fundamentally changed with his grid, right? Because he had issues. And his issue is no DPS, no tanking capabilities, no supporting capabilities, no nuke, right? He has nothing. And the one thing the grid did for him is, oh, we made your Ice Fang a bit better, which Ice Fang has to be one of the worst fangs in the game, right? Because of the fact that you can't have the opponent frozen and flinch at the same time, which is different from like Thunder Fang. Thunder Fang, you could paralyze the opponent and flinch them at the same time. Uh, Fire Fang, you could burn them and flinch at the same time, right? Ice Fang, they can't coexist. You can only have one. And if I remember correctly, if they're frozen, even if you get the roll and the flinch, you won't flinch them, right? If you if they're already flinched, uh, the freeze does override the flinch, right? But it doesn't go the other way around. If I remember correctly, that's how it works in this game. So it's not very good, right? And unlike, unlike the other two, you know, there's just more units that could really utilize burn and like freeze in their multipliers or not freeze and paralyze in their multipliers rather than freeze there's like one unit that uses it and it's like ice steven and ice steven is not very good <laughs> and even that you don't really want to use ice steven like that because ice steven you want to pick one you want to either f have the flinch multipliers or you have the freeze multipliers because again you can't have both you can't have both right so uh this guy's just terrible 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 right you have nothing if you look at the stats like 158 speed that's one of the worst speed stats in the game right his defenses are terrible avalanche is terrible by the way you look at oh it's a 90 damage two gauge move that's really no, no it's a two turn move so it's in reality only 45 damage rather than you know 90 and even if you get the double thing which you know you have to have the opponent hit you right then it's still only 90 damage per turn right for two turns 180 it's still very very bad damage wise right it's not even as powerful as like a regular psychic or shadow ball or bug buzz right um it's still less than that right and why would you want the opponent to hit you you have no defenses your defenses are not good right you have this gives you plus three even with plus three defenses that is not good and don't forget it's not like oh once you're done counter-attacking, the opponent switches back to your tank, and then, you know, you're good. Uh, no, they, they're still keyed on to you. They're still keyed on to you, right, for three turns. You don't want that, right? Like, this is just, this is just bad. Like, <laughs> there's nothing good about it. At least Kahili. Kahili Beak Blast is terrible, too. But at least Kahili, you burn the opponent after you hit them with the Beak Blast. Avalanche is just bad. It just gives you bad damage, right? It just gives you, like, nothing straight up, right? <sighs> but anyways, that being said, uh, I guess we'll try them out. We're just going to run the, the Hostile Environment and Aggravation. If you think, oh, Hostile Environment 2, Hostile Environment 1, Aggravation 2, that means he's going to be a great Freeze Flincher. No, he's still not going to be a great Freeze and Flincher because... Ice Fang base uh, percentages are very, very low. They're both 10%. You're not going to get anywhere with these <laughs> wells. So, like, this guy is just terrible, 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 terrible. What would have been nice for him is with that relatively decent uh, physical attack stat, maybe you give him a knee axe, you give him a, you know, a few nice sync nuke multipliers, but they didn't give him that. They gave him double down 5, which is not good because A, you can't use it off type, so it's worthless off type. And B, even if it's on type, it's only 50%. It's like half a haymaker worth of damage. It's straight up not good. So, well, this guy is terrible. He was terrible. He still is terrible, right? Uh, but anyways, let's try him out, I guess. We'll try him out against, like, Yuxi over here. Because Yuxi does have the 
passive where, you know, it reduces damage unless it's being status in the first bar, interfered in the second bar, which again, Ice Fang, to be fair to Ice Fang, does both, right? You can't really pick and choose which one you get. <laughs> like a box of chocolates, right? As uh, Forrest Gump's dad, dad, mom, mom, let's say. I don't know, one of those. Uh, we'll try it out. I know, I know, I know. We're trying it out against a lot. Uh, not a lot, it's UXC, but like, well, let's be real. Still getting carried by Sing Su Cynthia. You, uh, if we win at all, which I don't even think we could win. Because of the fact it's so random. None of these are guaranteed because... What you want in these battles is you want to guarantee, especially with someone like uh, Cynthia, right? You want to guarantee to know when the statuses are because she is a sync maker. You only have that one short window of getting that status in, right? Especially freeze, which is, again, also very, very bad because of how fast the opponents generally wake up from freeze, right? Like, this guy's just terrible all around, even for this stage, which you think, again... You want them to um, be status and stuff so you get damage in. But even for this, he's not. He's still not very good at, right? He's still not very good at this. Uh, we did get the freeze in. Hopefully. I was just about to say, hopefully, it stays frozen a bit longer for Cynthia to get the same here again. But nope. Didn't happen, sadly. Oh well. Hopefully, we get another freeze here. Alright, there we go. We got lucky. We got, we got the freeze in two times in a row, right? Uh, which with the raids as they are not very very likely to happen, but we were lucky got that and Cynthia destroyed that bar All right, so now we need to get the flinch in we Need to get the flinch in also. We can't get the flinch too early if it's too early Right If it's if it's if it's too early, we don't have the nuke up yet If it's if it's too late Right We might be in trouble so and it's now unflappable. It's unflappable now. <laughs> yeah, because of the uh, increase of uh, resistance, it's unflappable. We just have to brute force the rest of this now. And plus, he's super, super slow, so we have like, nothing speed wise. Alright. This guy's just terrible. He's just not good. I'm sorry. I'm sorry if you're Wolfric fan. I hope he gets like a better ult in the future, but him at the moment as he is, even with the grid, he's just terrible. I'm sorry. I feel bad. Again, I feel bad if you're a Wolford friend, but he's one of the worst units in the game. I wouldn't say this is the worst. I still think it's like Sylveon, but you know. I don't know, man. Sylveon could turn, you could turn Sylveon into a reasonable tank. Or special attack at least. This guy really got. This guy's really giving absolutely nothing, man. The tech thing he has is one of the you know worst tech things in the game. Not a lot of people actually utilize it. People who actually utilize it, not very good. <laughs> right? Yeah. This is just. This is just bad from all sides, unfortunately. Anyways, let's see if the Psychic Beam could not take out Wolfric here. Alright, at least we're still alive. At least we're still alive. It would be really, really nice if we uh, stop them there so they don't calm mine. But, uh, yeah, it is what it is, I guess. Uh, shoutouts to, uh, Togepi for burning. Not that it really matters. <laughs> Over there, at least. All right, can we get a freeze in over here? Freeze, please, so we get the Cynthia Sing. Freeze? No? Okay. No. Yeah, it's unflappable now. You will only... Uh, um, flap. <laughs> Flinch you see once. All right, whatever. Cynthia destroys. Um... Yeah, in one of the most well-designed stages for Wolfric, he still sucked. <laughs> well, I wouldn't say it's the most well-designed, but, like, he's still terrible. Terrible, terrible. Like, this guy's just bad. I'm sorry. <laughs> sorry, sorry, sorry. If you're a Wolfric fan, fan, I mean, maybe when Mashmo gets, like, the Ice Week back, you could, like, maybe try to, you know, nuke with him for 2k Master Mode. Uh, and dial into the opponent's sinks because you don't have enough damage to take the opponent out. But uh, 
I'll tell you that. <laughs> <laughs> Good luck, guys. Anyways, uh, that's really this one. Hope you all know what guys think in the comments down below. Like, share this video, start channel for some more Pokemon Mask content. Um, yeah, I just hope Wolfric fans get, like, a new Wolfric in the future. This guy's terrible. It is what it is. Sorry. <laughs>